and welcome back to my channel at also Victoria and I'm going to be going over what sold from April 1st to April 15th. I have 23 items that sold um, in all five of my shops. So my also Victoria shop, my Cameron D shop, my Poshmark, Artfire and eBay uh, store. So let me get started so I can get through all these items because uh, of course in some of them I have stories to share with you, which I really enjoy sharing the stories and I hope you do too. And if you like uh, receiving videos from me when I do what sold, uh, hauls from my studios, um, some vlogging with what's going on around Ashland, and I may start a new um, section. I'd like to get these all into categories um, with uh, my life, my life coaching skills that I have. My um, I have a degree, um, and I was thinking about doing one on motivation. Um, so we'll see how that goes uh, when I get that up and running. For so for now, I'm going to be doing going through the what sold. I go in chronological order. So yeah, so if you like these videos and you want to see more, uh, subscribe and hit the little bell. Um, so that will give you notifications and hit the thumbs up or down, whether you like them or not. Hit the, it just helps the algorithm. So I do appreciate that. And I do appreciate you watching. And I do also appreciate uh, you leaving comments on on anything anything well kind of anything not just anything but um because this is a, a youtube channel it started out just uh, on some of my adventures and my very earliest youtube videos are on the powwows i went to and then with the reselling um i saw okay well a lot of people are doing reselling videos so i'm doing that too so hey so i thought i started do going into the reselling videos um, which I really enjoy. So I work part-time reselling on all these different platforms. So let me once again get started on the first thing that sold on April 1st and it was these 1970s candies pink leather wedgies and I sold those in my Etsy shop for $58. Um, and so I, I will have um, the fees, the final fees, the cost, the gross, and where <laughs> well i picked these up so these actually cost me a dollar 53 but i'll have all that final details uh towards the end and in what shops how much i sold in what shop and how much um gross each shop made and okay so these uh candy pink leather wedgies i got into the state sale this summer and they cost me a dollar 53 sold april 1st and they sold for 58 dollars and Let's see, also, oh, oh, my art fire shop, that's where I sell, uh, it's Penelope Rose Art Fire, and that's where I sell, sell vintage patterns, newer patterns, some fabrics. I have tons of fabrics yet to be listed. I'm a very slow lister. I maybe list about five items a week, hopefully. Try for 10. I'm a slow lister. Anyway, this it was a children's pattern. It was a doesn't have the day on it. It looks like a 1950s children's pattern. And it sold for $12 in my Penelope Rose Art Fire shop. Um, and I don't have the fees of all the patterns I sold, so I kind of average them out to 25 cents. Um, I did list this in September of 2014. Some of these patterns I sell, I've actually started this Art Fire shop in 2010. I started my Etsy Vintage shop in 2010. I started my eBay shop probably in 2010 and then for about eight years did absolutely nothing with it until recently with the when along comes Poshmark that I find out about last year um, that there was this platform called Poshmark where you could sell newer clothes I'm like oh I'll give that a try and then uh, this summer I ran into somebody in an estate sale that said oh because I knew nothing about brands I'm getting off topic here but I know nothing about brands and she said, well, there's a uh, YouTubers that talk about selling on Poshmark. So that's when I checked it out and thought, oh, yeah, I think I'd like doing that, too. So here I am. So anyway, I made $12 on this vintage child pattern. And then over on my Poshmark pattern, I sold this bundle of bicycle shirts. 
Um, so let's see, the one, the Mary Engineer one sold for, it was listed at $36, sold in a bundle, so it sold for $28.50. And this other one, Lois got a mere bicycle top. I sold for, I had it listed for $20 and it sold for $16 because that was a two, two thing bundle. And so my total profit on both of these was $28.66 with the, I think in the bundle it's 20% off, but then when they do a bundle, I offer them even a larger discount and then the shipping, I'll offer the shipping discount too. They don't buy it outright, but just put it into their bundle. And I got these at the Goodwill um, in Ashland. Yeah, so that's where I bought these two. In fact, I bought five of these bicycle shirts. I only have one left, one, one woman's left. I had a, a men's. And then back over my Etsy shop, I sold this 1980s. The brand is Micah Gold Satin Blouse. This was actually a blouse I bought probably 10 years ago <laughs> and um then i decided i was going to list it in my etsy shop but i didn't know it was vintage so 10 years later i realized yeah it was probably vintage now i sold it for 30 dollars um so it came from my own personal closet or stash that i ended up putting in my studio brought it out and it sold 30 dollars over on etsy and also on Etsy, I sold this vintage 80s black velvet velour cat jumpsuit for $68. And that was free. So I got it at, I went to this yard sale, which I'm surprised there weren't more people at a yard sale. And that's where I bought all those seven banana boxes of vintage patterns. I bought a couple of 1880 turn of the century gowns that I still have. I'm probably going to keep and then eventually maybe donate to a museum. Um, anyway, there wasn't very many people at this lady's uh, yard sale. And I didn't know what the prices were, but I did buy the patterns. And then when she, she came back from New York, her mom had an antique store here in Ashland. Her mom passed away. She was storing all her mom's stuff. She did say that the sales from her mom's antique store is what put her through college, which was really nice. So anyway, she's a massage therapist back in New York City. And she came out to um, get rid of all her mom's stuff she had in storage. And so she was having this yard sale. And so she, um, I think I asked her, what are you going to do with everything after the yard sale? Because she had to go back to New York and she said she was just going to take it to the Goodwill. I said, okay, well, give me a call at the end of your yard sale and I'll come pick it up because I did tell her I was a reseller and I sold. Uh, so that was, um, I listed this back in March. So I just listed this this year. But anyway, that was probably about seven years ago. I went to that uh, yard sale. And so she called me up and I had a car full, 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 full of really cool stuff that I have yet to get to to list. Uh, jewelry, um, clothing, vintage clothing, lots of really cool stuff. And um, so, yeah, so I went and picked up her stuff that she was just going to take to the Goodwill that she was more than willing to pass on to me. And I really appreciate that. I believe her name was Amy. Nice girl. Nice girl. Anyway, uh, and also on my Etsy shop, I sold this vintage uh, 1950s, 60s sea green aqua blue soft crepe dress. It had the belt. I got this at an estate sale for $1.23 this last summer. I listed it March 27th, sold for $48. And over our back over on my Art Fire shop, I sold this 1950s dress pattern for $45. Um, let me see. So it was one of my source. I may have picked this up in one of those seven banana boxes of patterns. Um, I listed this in September 2014. So what is that? Like six years later or even more? But $45 is a good price. Some of the patterns, I think the highest price pattern I sold was $65. I'm not sure. $95. $65. I don't know. It was a designer pattern. 
And this other, this is back over in my Etsy shop. I sold this 1970s pale floral Wrangler shirt. It's a Western shirt. And I sold it for $35. I don't know where I got it, so it's not going to go in with my cost of goods. I listed it uh, February of last year. Yeah, sold it for $35. I, that was really pretty. She really said she liked, she was looking for something, the buyer, because on Etsy, when somebody buys something, I always send them a conversation back, thanking them for their purchase and let them know when the item's going to be shipped out. And a lot of times they'll convo me back saying thank you, or they've been really looking for that. And so this lady said she was looking for something more in the light pastel colors of this type of shirt and was happy to find it. In fact, I get a lot of, I'm very happy to find this item, which is really nice to know that, yeah, I got something for them that they like. Okay, and over at my eBay store, I also had this dress listed in my Etsy shop forever. And then I decided since it's a forever kind of thing in my Etsy shop, I'll put it over in my eBay store because things sell for cheaper over there, even though I had it pretty inexpensive in my Etsy shop. But it didn't sell. Got likers, but it never sold. Um, so it's a 1970s Boho Empire maxi dress, sea green and blue with blue windmills. And it, I had it listed for $25. They made me an offer $19. And because I had it listed forever on Etsy, not so long on eBay, but on Etsy I did, um, I decided to take the $19 offer. Um, I listed it. I just listed it, uh, oh no, that's when it sold. Well, where are my listings? Usually I put down, I got it at the Hospice Boutique over in Klamath Falls, which is over the mountain going east from where I live. Hmm, I don't I don't actually have the date I listed it on Etsy or eBay. Uh, but anyway, it sold for $19 over on eBay. And this is another Poshmark sale. It's a Victoria, Victoria Secrets Teddy Lingerie Pink Bra thingamajigger um, lingerie. I sold it for $16. This didn't cost me anything. It was one of the some of the stuff my son um, brought over when they were cleaning out a house. And uh, he was given a bunch of bins of clothing. I think the lady was a reseller herself, maybe a local reseller at one of the um, resale shops here in town. And so it didn't cost anything but sold for $16. I had listed it in January of this year. And then back over at eBay, these are a pair of Tiva West, Westwater Mary Jane sandal shoes that my daughter gave me. So they didn't cost me anything. In fact, my daughter currently is going through, um, I've had her stuff in storage when I moved my mom and her over to my house. My mom has since passed away. Sad news, but good she was 90. um so anyway i'm going cleaning out the storage and she had all her clothes there so we're pulling all her clothes over here she's going through all her clothes giving me what uh she doesn't want so for that pile i'm dividing what i think i could sell and the other pile is going to the goodwill and then there's another pile that just has to go into the trash because it's just trash <laughs> it's just trash Okay, anyway, so these shoes she gave to me, and I had them listed for $30 on eBay. I sold them for $20. I had them, I listed them April 6th. Oh, no, that's the date they sold, April 6th. I listed them March 6th, so it took a month, but they sold uh, for $20. I believe they gave me an offer $20. Yes, and I accepted it because they, they didn't cost me anything. They were all pretty good shoes. And back over at my Etsy shop, I sold this vintage 70s Sears pink pinois set, a nightgown and the robe uh, for $48. I picked this up at an estate sale for $1.23 this summer. I listed it January of this year and it sold on April 9th. And also in my Etsy shop, I sold this vintage wool pleated skirt. It's a Dundon Scottish Edinburgh Woolen Mill made in Great Britain. It was lined. I sold it for $32 and it went to Chile. I have no idea if she got it yet because, oh good, it, had, it did have the address. So anyway, it went to Chile and I listed it September of 2018 in my Etsy shop. It had sold 
prior to that. Um, so this is when I had relisted once it got returned. It got returned because the lady said it didn't fit her around the waist. It was too tight. And she said she had bought other items of this sort or this from this brand. I'm not sure that fit her, but this one didn't fit. It was like an inch too short, too small. And I explained to her it was probably vintage, but that's okay. Just return it. And then I refunded her money. Um, so usually I'll have the buyer pay return postage. I don't know if I did on that or not. I think she did pay return postage. Uh, I have no problems taking returns. So anyway, it sold for $32, listed it in 2018 over on Etsy, and it went to Chile. Must be getting cold in Chile. Is that south of the equator? Kind of on the equator? I don't know. She could be living up in the mountains. Who knows? And this one went to Portugal. This one sold April 12th. It is a vintage 80s brown wool crop jacket, a military style, gold buttons. The brand on it was Savannah. Sold for $45. I had listed it in August of last year. I picked it up at the estate sale for $1.52. So it was my second trip to the estate sale. Oh, the same estate sale. I went back on a Sunday. Um, and so there was a lot of, oh yeah. So hopefully she's able to get this going to Portugal because I shipped it out and then she notifies me later that day or the next day that she forgot to give me the street address. I have the street name, I have the town, I have her name and I said and then I looked it up and then I noticed on UPS International there used to be a form you could fill out and get the package redirected back to you and I couldn't find the form so I think they discontinued that because it was an old it was an old uh, Google uh, post. And so I explained to her, because I told her, well, I'll see what I could do on my end. And I explained that there wasn't much I could do about contacting my postmaster. I said, but when it gets to her, when it gets to Portugal, contact her postmaster and let them know her address. And then maybe they could find it there. And then she asked me, well, when will that be? And what do you say? So I, I actually did go, well, how long does it take to ship items to Portugal? And um, from what I could find out, things could lay, stay in custom from two weeks to four months. In fact, I did have something in customs in Brazil that was in a customs office in Brazil that was several years ago for four months. Tried to refund the lady her money through PayPal, not this, this order, but the one several years ago. Uh, PayPal wouldn't accept it in Brazil and tried to contact. She said her daughter would contact me. Her daughter never contacted me. I reached out to her daughter, never got communication back. And then four months later, she contacts me and says she got the package. So it worked out, but it did take a long time because I believe it wasn't customs for that long. So anyway, I let her know that um, she can contact the customs office also. I said, just look at the tracking number. Once it leaves this country, it will go. It will end up in your customs office. You can contact your customs office because she lived in Lisbon, and that's where it would go to Lisbon, Portugal, um, to um, contact them and tell them that she needed the street address number on the package to get it delivered or her postmaster to get it delivered. It was a very little street, so I, I uh, Google World world googled her address to see where in the world <laughs> she lived uh and it was a very little it was a small street but there seemed like there was a lot of apartments on there although she lived i think in a house there so hopefully uh she'll get it or i'll hear back from her and then we'll have to figure out what to do from there so anyway that sold for 45 dollars. went to portugal and then over on Poshmark, I sold this American Museum Black Dinosaur Heart Tea for $16. And I got it at the Goodwill, paid $2.50 for it. I listed it of November of last year. And also over on Poshmark, I sold these Old Navy Maternity Large Dark Gray Leggings for $12. I picked these up in Eureka on one of my thrift store uh, 
outings, but I went to Eureka to accompany my husband to a cribbage tournament there. And then while he's there, I go to the thrift stores. So I paid $1.99 for these. And like I said, they sold for $12 on Poshmark. And back over on my Etsy shop, I sold this 1960s Nehru cotton jacket, um, size small. And I sold that for $68. I don't know where I picked it up at because I did not. I used to do so much thrift store shopping bin. That's when I went to the bins. Um, so I pulled it out of my studio. I probably showed it, it, showed it in one of my hauls. Um, I listed it November of last year, and like I said, it sold for $68. Went to United Kingdom. Oh, okay. Good. Etsy. Okay, and now over in my Art Fire shop, I sold these three patterns. A 1940s tuck blouse pattern, a 1940s two-piece pajama set, a Butterick six-score skirt, 1950s. And so the total of that sale was $35. So the blouse and the pajama set, each pattern was $14. And the skirt pattern was $7. And so once again, I, I may have picked these up at that yard sale with the lady with all the stuff she gave me. And I had these patterns listed from November 2013 to July 2014. And so they finally all sold in uh, one lot and where'd they go? They went to PA, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay, Philadelphia's the town, Pennsylvania's the state. Okay, and back over in my Etsy shop, I sold this 1970s light blue quilted bed jacket. Nanette was the brand. I sold it for $12 and I picked that up at an estate sale for 83 cents. So that was probably a year or so ago. It's still my favorite estate sale people. And I listed it last year on Etsy in January, 2019. And yeah, sold it for $12. And the last item was over in my Cameron D shop. Um, I showed this uh, heart pillow, this embroidered heart, heart pillow in a haul, sold it for $24. I picked it up in Eureka at uh, second hand. It was Ann, Ann Glenn second hand in Eureka. Um, so the story about this, the, the lady offered me, I believe $15 for it. And then I wrote her back and said I had just listed it because I listed it at March, March 10th this year. And she offered me $15 for it. And I said, I had just listed it, but if I have it for a while, I will let her know before I lower the price or whatever. And she wrote me back. She said, I totally understand and thank you. And then she bought it for $24. And so the thing with this pillow, and I explained in my haul, um, well, my husband was playing cribbage. I went to like a yard sale. I went to the secondhand stores and I went to this store and that was the only thing I saw that I really liked. Um, it was a really funky everything guy kind of tools type secondhand store. I think they, they clear out estate sales or whatever. And so anyway, I didn't happen to have any cash with me and I didn't want to use my credit card. And she said, Oh, don't worry about it. You could come back and pay. Or he said, the guy, I uh, said, Oh, don't worry about it. You can come back, come back and pay, pay the dollar, uh, later. Cause I explained I was in town with my husband for the cribbage tournament and I'm like, okay. And so then the next day I finally got change i actually had to go into the store buy something get change um and then i went where my husband was playing cribbage at the moose lodge they were having a um, craft fair so i bought something at the craft fair to get change for the 20 so i'd have a dollar to go back and give these folks a dollar for this pillow and so then my husband and i we go back to this um second hand store and then the ladies there working and I tried to give her, I said, well, okay, I have a dollar for this pillow I bought the other day. And, and then she sees my husband's hat and he's a vet uh, from the Vietnam era. And so he had his hat on and she says, oh, no, no, you know, you're a vet. Don't, don't worry about it. And I said, well, yeah. And she says, no, give it to him. <laughs> and so I gave the dollar to my husband. And of course, obviously he's going to spend the dollar on me because that's what he does. He's a cool guy. 
So, okay. And so anyway, I sold that for $24. That's the last of the 23 items. So to break that down here, um, the gross sales of those from those five shops of those 23 items um, was $687.80. Um, the fees for those were $112.83. Or was that six hundred eighty-seven eighty dollars? It's six hundred eighty-seven dollars and eighty cents fees, one hundred twelve dollars and eighty-three cents. The cost of goods oh, was nineteen dollars and sixty cents, and there were seven items in that bunch that was free, or I did not know the cost of the goods because I've had it so long. And five of them were patterns and. I don't have the cost of goods on those. I kind of average 25 cents a piece, but I didn't include that into the cost here. And so my net profit um, is, give or take, was $555.37 for the 23 items from April 1st to the 15th. So that was 10 items in my Oso Victoria Etsy shop. So that was $444 there. It was one item in my Cameron D Etsy shop where I sell collectibles, so that's $24 there. There was five items in my Poshmark, my Oso Victoria Poshmark closet, so that's $88.80. There was five patterns in my Penelope Rose Art Fire shop for a total of $92. And there was two items in my Oso Victoria eBay sh store which for a total of $39. So that gave me the gross of $687.80 for 23 items. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Got some kind of content out of that of what I am selling, uh, what kind of vintage items I'm selling, what people like, how much I'm selling them for, how much I'm paying for the items. Um, so hit the subscribe and the like, and I will see you on the next video. Maybe it's a motivational video. Okay, until then, bye.